Good morning. I'm Darren Marlar. Robert is here with me from Cross International. Uh, good morning, Robert. Hey, how I are hope you? you? Had a, a great night's sleep. Uh, it was a long day for you guys yesterday. Long day, but you know what? It's worth it when we're seeing children being taken care of, and and uh, we saw some taken care of yesterday, and and we had a little bit of a slow start yesterday, but we're asking God mm-hmm. to do some miracles today, and we believe that uh, He'll provide for the needs of these children in Haiti. If you were not able to listen yesterday. Cross yeah, why don't we lay out you know, the whole thing. Yeah, let, let's let's talk about what exactly you guys are doing for those who have who don't right. have a clue yet. Right. Cross International, based in uh, Pompano Beach, Florida, uh, is partnering, has partnered for a number of years with the Divine Shelter Schools in and around Port-au-Prince, Haiti. The Divine Shelter Schools are a grouping of schools. There are about 20 of them, and uh, they are an evangelical grouping of schools. They teach not only the regular scholastics, but they also teach the Word of God every day. And on Fridays, Mm -hmm. they have extended times of teaching. The children are being blessed in many ways. Um, For an $88 one-time gift, you're able to provide a year of education in those divine shelter schools. That includes their school supplies, their shoes, and their uniforms, which they must have no matter what school they go to in Haiti. That's just the law of the nation. And so for 88 bucks, you're supplying all that. What we're asking, too, is will you add a $22 gift onto that 88, making it a one-time gift of $110, and that $22 is what provides the food every day for the child. And uh, because these children in an impoverished nation like Haiti, most of them don't have meals every day when they're not in school. We talked to one family that it had been two and a half days since they last ate anything. So if you can help today with a $110 one-time gift, you're providing everything they need. I call it the full ride scholarship, and you know what scholarships do. They take away a lot of stress, don't they? So I want to give you this phone number. It's 866-822-4883, 866-822-4883. We'll be sharing a lot throughout the day today about our experiences there. Cross International, based in Pompano Beach, Florida. Go online to crossinternational.org if you're unfamiliar with the ministry. And we hope that many, many friends of this radio audience will help with this need. 120 kids is what we're trying to help, and we're only about 20 along the way. So we've got a long ways to go. You can also give online at 1160hope.com. Bless your hearts for what you're doing, and we're going to see what God does today. It's going to be an exciting day. Please join us, 866-822-4883. You can also give at 1160hope.com. My my buddy Jim here from Cross International is with us. Uh, Jim, you and Robert, you're going to be hanging out with me for the rest of the morning, and we'll be telling people about how they can change lives by providing an education for children in Haiti. You guys have both actually been there, and you, you've sort of soaked it in and, and, and seen what, what's really happening, haven't you? Yeah, we've been there many times, Darren. And uh, every time we go, we visit uh, four or five Divine Shelter schools. We help pass out the food at lunchtime, and we play with the mm-hmm. kids and give them high fives. And, you know, it, it's a lot of fun. And, but then we go into the villages, and we see the kids that aren't going to school. And it's a completely, completely different story. You know, their countenance is different. You can see that they're dirty, that they're hungry. But I got to tell you about this one little girl we met at a divine shelter school. And, uh, you know, she was there going to school and we gave her lunch. And we and she came up to us and, you know, just kind of saying hi and thing in, in, in broken English. And the, the headmaster came up to us and he said, hey, do you want to hear uh, some uh, a scripture verse? this little girl knows some scripture. And we said, oh, that would be great in English. And he goes, oh, absolutely. We said, great. This is fabulous. Yeah. Now we didn't record her or anything. We just wanted to have have her, you know, relate that to us. Uh Darren, she launched into the 23rd Psalm, the entire 23rd (laughs) Psalm. Wow. You know what? And, And we were standing around her and we're somewhat amazed, you know, but then she got to the part where she says, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, we looked at each other. And she was kind of looking down at the ground and it dawned on us. We knew where this girl came from. She had Uh been in that valley. That's where she was. She lived in that valley until somebody gave a gift and some, and allowed her to go to divine shelter school. And because of that, her life was changed and it kind of instilled in us again, how important it is for us to just tell us, tell the story 
at radio stations around the country. We know everybody can't go to Haiti, and we just hope that we can relay information to the listeners to tell to tell them that your gift matters. Your gift really is a life-changing gift. It allows kids to get out of the valley of shadow of death and go to a Christian school and get a hot meal, get to know Christ, and get a great mm-hmm. education to break that cycle of poverty. So we urge you to call with your best gift. A $110 one-time gift right now will feed and educate a boy or girl for an entire year. How many children can you help? 866 822 4883-866-822-4883. If you'd like to give online, you can do that as well. Just go to 1160hope.com and then click on the the uh, Cross International banner. I've got Robert here with me. Uh, Rob, we were, we were uh, talking with Jim just a few minutes ago, and he was giving us a story about what he experienced personally when he was in Haiti. And I know you guys go there together quite often. I'm wondering, uh, maybe maybe you have a story that you would like to share with us to oh, there, kind of give people an idea of what's going on over there. There are so many experiences that we can share and obviously don't have time to share them all. But the, some of the ones that stick out are, are really uh, earth shattering and heart wrenching. This one is mm-hmm. about a little boy who his mother was very ill, near death, when she gave birth to him. At three days old, she wrapped him in a blanket and buried him in the ground. We believe, uh, oh, thinking my. that she was going to end his suffering because she knew she would die. In fact, she died a day later. But a little girl was standing behind a bush, and she watched the mother bury this little baby. As soon as the mother walked away, the little girl ran over, dug him up, took him to her own family. They couldn't take care of him either. They got word to one of our mission partners there, and uh, they were able to take him in, get doctors to look at him. When we were there, he was a year old. He was healthy. He was happy. And since then, we're, we're happy to say he's been adopted out to a Christian family in that area. But but I my, my message here is what if the little girl wouldn't have done anything? What if she had ran away in fear or said it's none of my business? Or what if her family would have said, no, we really we can't afford to take care of this kid. So take him. But we 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 don't want anything to do with it. We're going to ignore the issue. Or what if the mm-hmm. missionary would have said, "Well, it's really this is out of my my league too." I mean, if all of us, if any one of us, says, "I can't do anything about this problem," then we can have dire circumstances. And I want to encourage you this morning as we're we're really struggling to to get these kids taken care of. Please don't say, I can't do anything about it. Maybe you can't give at the $110 level, but maybe you can give at another level. Do what you can, and God will bless that. Do what God lays on your heart, and he will take care of that. Take action. Reach down. Pick up one of these little ones and bless their life in the name of Jesus Christ. Here's the phone number to do that. It's 866-822-4883. 866-822-4883 or online at 1160hope.com. Quick question for you, Robert. If somebody is feeling led to do the $110, but they just don't have it with them right now, they could do that on a monthly installment plan type of thing, right? Well, they can do that. They can make a pledge. They can call in and say, I don't have it right this moment, uh, but I want a pledge to do that. And what Cross will do is send out an envelope that's already postage paid and self-addressed, and you put your check in it at your convenience, send it back. There we you would, go. We if would you're like feeling to led, know you how can... much you're going to pledge, though, because we need to know so that we can plan for these children. Sure. Yeah, but that way it gives you an opportunity to save up for the next couple of weeks or right. wait until your next paycheck, and that way you can take yep. care of it. Absolutely. Again, that number is 866-822-4883, 866-822-4883, or you can give online at 1160hope.com. I've got Jim from Cross International here with me, and we're asking you to partner with us today to send children to school. In Haiti, uh, In Haiti, they, they don't have free school like we do here. they got to pay for it. And, well, you know, they don't have the money that, that we do here. Parents make, what, like $2 a month on average. So, uh, Jim, now you've been there, though, so you've seen these kids and... No, I'll bet I'll bet it just breaks your heart. You just want to reach out and squeeze and hug them, don't you? Yeah, there's a I wish you could put them in the suitcase and bring them home, you know, but so yeah. <laughs> many of these kids, they're just, you know, they're just through no fault of their own. They live in the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere, and they just can't 
go to school and they barely have enough to eat. You know, we met mm-hmm. two little guys that we met. We went to a divine shelter school on a recent trip and we met these two little guys and you got to understand they all have these uniforms on. So they got little ties on and matching shirts and it's, it, they're just adorable. You know, they, uh, they looked down at us and Robert was in this group and Hey, would you like to see our house? Well, we would, yeah, let's go. You know, well, we didn't realize there and that their house was about an hour away and uh, it was about 120 oh, wow. degrees. So we're walking down this, this really cow path, you know, finally got to their village and we saw a lot of dogs running around, saw a lot of kids that weren't going to school, piles of trash everywhere. We finally got to their humble little home and it was just, it was just nothing. Tin roof, dirt floor, really a 10 by 10 room. Kitchen was outside. Latrine was outside, you know. We met their mother, and uh, the mother's name was Susanie. She's 37 years old, and she was illiterate. She had no husband. Her husband, uh, you know, died about six months before we, we met her. So she's raising these two little guys and another little girl that she's carrying around, about a three-year-old. And we're talking to her through an interpreter, and she looked at, at us, and with tears in her eyes, she said, thank you. Thank you to whoever made it possible so that my two little boys could go to school and get something to eat every day because I don't want them to end up like me. Mm-hmm. Oh, it just broke my heart. She didn't and want really, to end education up like me. And really, education really is like the number one thing to pull someone out of poverty too, isn't it? Absolutely. Without an education, they have no hopes. They can have no dreams. Yeah. So what we're asking people to do is give an $88 gift and provide a scholarship for an entire year to Divine Shelter Christian School. You give them a Christian education, you add $22 to that gift, uh, and, and they'll also get a hot meal every day at lunchtime. So a little over 100 bucks, you change a child's life. So I don't know how many kids uh, God is laying on your heart. We're looking for one classroom champion, Darren, that can take care of an entire classroom of kids. The average classroom size is about 30. Maybe you could uh, help four, four or five brothers and sisters. Or if you can help just one child, thank you. Do whatever you can. But these kids need your help. 866-822-4883 is the lifeline that we're asking you to call today. 866-822-4883 or 1160hope.com. I've got Robert here in the studio with Cross International. And... uh, Well, we've been talking this morning about people stepping up and sending kids uh, to school through scholarships with Cross International. And I guess we have a couple of people to thank, don't we, Robert? Yes, yes, we do. We've we've had some uh, folks uh, start to get active this morning, some uh, calling, some online. Love what Linda did from Chicago. Linda said, I would be happy to give for two little children to have full ride scholarships and uh uh, Linda, what you what you did is provide a whole year, and you know this, but I, for the listeners, I want to make sure everyone is reminded that one hundred and ten dollar one time gift provides an entire year of Christian education along with their regular scholastics, which includes learning two languages: the English language and the French Creole language, which is their native language, and uh, then it also provides their school supplies and their shoes and their uniform. And it also supplies food every single day for the child in school. Linda provided two of those full ride scholarships. So two more children are going to be able to go to school and be fed every day. That's no small thing. I want to also remind you that these kids, many of them come, they have come from uh, living in garbage dumps. Some of them are orphans. Some of them only have one parent. Some of them are living with, with uh, grandmothers or other, other adults. And uh, so they're struggling in a lot of ways, sometimes mentally, sometimes psycholo- uh, psychologically. And so there's other needs that have to be met. Some of these kids have physical needs, uh, deformities, because they've starved. They've been starving so long. So there are many other things that take place in the Divine Shelter schools besides just the education and the feeding. So I, wa- I-, I wanted to make sure you know that so you realize just how much you're doing with that one-time gift of $110. Now, we still have uh, 100 kids or so that we're trying to see rescued, and today is our final day. So we need a lot of friends to the phone. I'm praying that some of you in this next half hour, maybe 10 of you, would go to the phone and do what Linda did and give for two children, blessing their lives for an entire year with a one-time gift of 220 
Maybe you can give for more than that. We're still looking for our first classroom champion who would give 30 scholarships. That's not for everybody, but I know there's someone who could do it. It's a $3,300 gift. Do what you can, and God will honor that. Just do it with a pure and a sincere heart. God loves a cheerful giver. We want to be cheerful. We want you to be cheerful, and we certainly want to see these kids be cheerful as they get a chance at an education and food every single day. Here's the number, 866-822-4883, 866-822-4883, or online at 1160hope.com. And, you know, uh, looking at what Linda gave, I mean, it, it, it sounds you know, impressive and not to take away from it. We're so thankful for Linda for calling in and, and uh, giving those two scholarships. But at $210, that's le- that's just over $18 a month is all it is. If she decided to do that on a monthly basis, daily, that's 60 cents a day to, to, to do scholarships for two children. And you're practically, you're saving their lives essentially is what you're doing with this. So it's just, it's amazing how far the money goes in Haiti. Uh, yep. 866 866- 822-4883 or you can give at 1160hope.com I'm talking with Jim from Cross International uh, Jim, uh, you, Robert and I we've been talking all morning about uh, about asking people to to uh, essentially sponsor a child by, by providing a scholarship for these children in Haiti to go to school that's $88 for an entire year of school which is just astounding that they, that they get the shoes and the, and the supplies and the uniforms and everything else. Right. But then for that additional $22, they also can provide a lunch for the child. So how, how important really is the lunch? I mean, is it okay just to do, just to do the schooling thing? Well, it really isn't because you got to remember uh, if these kids don't have anything to eat, it's pretty tough to concentrate on their, on their school and, and even the Bible classes. And, uh, mm, you know, the yeah. $22 to, to supply the food after you do the $88 scholarship, it's so important if you can do that because these are children who, when they wake up in the morning, their stomachs are hurting. You know, and it's not just a little grumbling like maybe we have, you know, because we haven't eaten since supper the night before. These are kids, sometimes they haven't eaten in, in a day or two or more. Some of the kids we're talking about are orphan kids. They don't even have a parent. And, and every time we go to Haiti... We see children digging through piles of garbage, and it's hard for us to imagine that that happens because it just doesn't happen here in America. Here in America, if you're hungry, you know, there's places to get food. But in Haiti, these children, and we've, we've seen them every trip, and we even go to garbage dumps to help these children because that's where a lot of them find any sustenance that they can. It was shocking to us when we were standing in the middle of a dump and the smoke is rising, you know, from fires and tires burning and whatnot. And we see a garbage truck pull in. And again, this isn't a garbage truck like we're used to, not big fancy truck with all the different mechanics on it. This is basically just a, a flatbed truck that, you know, they go around the restaurants and they pick up trash. And mm-hmm. when that thing came in to the dump, at least 12, 13 children were running after it because they want to be the first ones to kind of have first dibs on on the new garbage that's coming in because everything else has been picked through. That happens all the time. And we tell people that they go, Oh, come on, that doesn't happen. It does. It happens every time we go there. That's the great thing about divine shelter. You better believe they're going to give them a great academic education and introduce them to Jesus Christ. But they're also going to get that hot meal every day at lunchtime. The only meal they'll get that day. So if you can add that $22 one time gift to feed the child for a year, Add that to your $88 scholarship. Thank you for doing that because that's why this becomes a life-saving gift that you're making. So a $110 that additional gift $22. So yeah. I would say that additional $22 could be the only meal they receive every day. In most cases, it is exactly. Yeah. It is exactly. So that. do they have the same school schedule that we do? So if they get off on Friday and then come back on Monday then they may not have eaten since Friday when they come in on Monday for that school lunch. Well, in some cases, that's exactly right. You know, now they might find something to eat over those couple days. Again, by picking through trash, if they have parents, the parents will be able to, to, to provide something. But this is a society, you got to understand, their parents make about a buck or two a day. So they, you know, their income for the whole year isn't even six, $700. They can't afford to, to do too much for their kids. So, 
it's nice for us to be able to step in, be the hands and feet of Christ for these kids in Haiti. We urge you to call the toll-free number right now. It really is a life-saving number. We're asking you to call 866-822-4883, 866-822-4883. And God bless you for helping as many kids as God is laying on your heart today. If you'd rather give online, you can do that at 1160hope.com. Good morning, I'm Darren Marlar. Got Robert here from Cross International. And Robert, you know, we've been talking quite a bit about these schools and providing lunches for the kids in Haiti. What are the what are the schools really like? What are, what do those classrooms look like? Well, some some of them vary just a little bit, but most of them are are um, as you might picture them, dirt floors. They have palm branches uh-huh. for walls dividing the classrooms. Uh, some of them have old tin on the roofs that are that are formed over some some tree limbs sometimes or poles that they just kind of like a lean to. Um, if they have any kind of a, uh, they don't have chalkboards. Mo- in most cases, they have. Well, let me say most of them don't have chalkboards. Some of them have cardboard that is nailed to the wall, and they wipe that off with a wet cloth, and then they have to wait for the cardboard to dry before they can draw on it with a chalk again. And we even noticed they had bottle caps that they had found. They drove a nail through those bottle caps. Those bottle caps act as washers to hold the cardboard onto the wall. That gives you an idea of kind of what wow. some of them look like. Now, there are some of the schools that have been able to be advanced. They they actually have cinder block walls, and they do have uh, a chalkboard, but uh, that would be the that would be the nicer schools. But uh, that's that's the conditions. However, their learning levels are extremely high. These kids are smart. The teachers are very, very good. They're very, very dedicated and committed. And so uh, what you're giving to is something that where excellence is always strived for, even in the worst conditions. And uh, they're, they're thankful for everything they have. And so we're thankful for every one of you as you give today. Please go to the phones, 866-822-4883, 866-822-4883. Forty-eight eighty-three, or online at 1160hope.com. Whatever it is that you're planning on giving, please give now. Today is the really important day to do that. 866-822-4883 or 1160hope.com. I want to check in with Jim and Rod and uh, Robert over at Cross International. Uh, Jim, you know, we I remember we we talked earlier this morning about a gift that came in for a couple of children Mm -hmm. at the same time, which is great because that means that you could send uh, a couple of children from the same family to to school together. I'm wondering what's the average size family there? I mean, how, how many children? Uh, really, w- would we need to to provide for if we wanted to send a, a family to school? Well, the average family size is four or five siblings, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's many, many cases where we'll have listeners that will say, you know what, I can do a $550 gift. It's a one-time gift. Well, if you want to spread it out over a couple of months, you can do that, of course. But really, a $550 gift, you're going to send five brothers and sisters to school together. And the importance of that there is, is, is very simple. We've been to, to many of these schools. And without fail, we will see children standing outside the gates of the school or the walls of the school waiting for their brothers and sisters to come out of school. They'll wait there all day. They'll walk to school with their, with their brothers and sisters, and they won't be able to get into school because the funding is just not there. And so they'll just wait, looking through the barbed wire, peering through the cracks in the wall perhaps, and it's, mm. and it's just sad because it's like, well, you know, we understand. We understand that families, to send one child to school is miraculous. Four or five, there's just not, that would be almost their whole savings for the whole year. So yeah. if people can, we're asking listeners to, to do something, you know, pretty miraculous to help four or five children, four or five brothers and sisters all go to school together and all be able to eat lunch together. And that is very significant because if they're not going to school, they're probably not getting much to eat, if anything. So they get the hot meal at lunchtime. They're learning about Jesus in school. They're getting that academic education so that they can, you know, break that cycle of poverty when they, when they get out of divine shelter schools. So whatever God is laying on your heart, thank you so much. And if you can help four or five brothers and sisters, God bless you. 
We're still looking, uh, Darren, for that one classroom champion, classroom hero, whatever you want to call him. But uh, the average classroom size is about 30 kids. And if there's just one person listening right now, just one person, and if you could do a $3,300 gift, and again, maybe spread that out over a whole year if you have to or a couple months, um, just think of the impact that that would have on a village. That might be an entire village of children that you're allowing to go to Divine Shelter School, learn about Christ, feed every day, and also get that academic education. Buddy, that is a that is a earth shattering uh, kind of situation if you can if you can yeah. do that. So I just did the, the math real quick for the uh, classroom hero. If they wanted to spread that out over a year for thirty three hundred dollars, that's only two hundred seventy five a month. I know there's a lot of people that actually could do that. Yeah, something you can build into the budget and just think every. Yeah. Every month, how many kids that you're helping. So, anyway, thank you for calling this toll-free number. You'll talk to a real friendly person, 866-822-4883. Again, 866-822-4883. I know sometimes we say it way too fast, so hopefully that was slow enough. But if you forget the number, you can always go to 1160hope.com. You can also give your gift right there. But that also, of course, has the phone number on the banner if you prefer to talk to a real friendly person this morning. I'm Darren Marlar speaking with Jim from Cross International, and we're asking you to partner with us as we send kids via scholarships to school in Haiti. Jim, you've actually spent a lot of time in Haiti. You've actually seen a lot of this with your own eyes, haven't you? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, and every time we go to Haiti, we know we're going to the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere. And uh, Mm -hmm. we know it's not going to be a fun trip, you know, Uh, but at the same time, it's so meaningful. And we always come back, you know, knowing that, uh, wow, cross international is doing a wonderful work in Haiti. We always come back knowing that the kid, the kids in Haiti really do appreciate what cross is doing and what divine shelter schools is doing. And to be honest, the kids really don't know who cross international is so much. They know divine shelter schools. And that's fine with us because we want to make sure that they know and they love and support their ministry, the ministry partner, like Divine Shelter Schools. It's not important right. for us to realize that, oh, Cross International. No ego in this. No, not at all. We, we were we taken to a, a small village and we met a man. Uh, he had a girl that enrolled at Divine Shelter. We met her dad. And immediately when we found out and when he found out who we were, and that we represented Divine Shelter Schools and Cross. He dropped to his knees. He cried out, mercy, mercy. And he went on and on with tears in his eyes, thanking us for making sure that his little girl could get something to eat and go to school. And through the interpreter, we said, well, we want to make sure he understands it's Divine Shelter School that is really helping your little girl. So thank you. Thank you for whoever made it possible for that little girl to go to school because it matters. Your gift matters. Your gift makes it possible to change a little boy or girl's life. So thank you. Thank you for your $110 gift to help one child. Thank you for your $550 gift to help five brothers and sisters or or whatever gift you can give. Thank you. Your gift matters. It really does. 866-822-4883. That's the toll-free number we're asking you to call this morning. 866-822-4883. 4883 or Darren you've got a website they can go to uh, as well. Yep, everybody's familiar with the website so it's easy to get to. Just go to 1160hope.com and when you get there you'll see a banner for Cross International. Click on that and you can make your donation as well. I just want to check in with Robert across international because I hear we've got some good news. We actually have some people that we need to thank for calling in and donating today. We, we thought somebody cut the phone lines. We weren't getting any calls. And all of a sudden, ding a ling a ling a ling ling here we go. The phones are ringing. Thank you to Roy from Chicago. Are you saying that Chicago. ding-a-lings called in? Well, I, I don't know if they're ding or not, but they can be. Okay. If they're given for kids, they can be anything they want to be. That's the way I feel <laughs> about it. Uh, Roy, thank you from Chicago for taking care of a full-ride scholarship just moments ago. And here's another one that's really fun because uh, we thank Linda earlier for giving for two full-ride scholarships. Linda went mm-hmm. back online and gave for two more full ride scholarships. Linda, thank you again. Wow. God bless you for doing that. Now uh, that's how Linda that's how easy generous. it is. Just ask Roy and Linda. They both have stepped up in the last moments, and thank you guys again. One of them going to the number eight six six eight two two forty eight eighty three. The other one going online at eleven sixty hope dot com. 
two easy ways for you to give today to help these precious little ones in Haiti who we're trying to help. Still a long ways away, but God is good. He's opening the windows of heaven. We see the blessings coming. Now, I have a special challenge for you from myself. For the next 30 minutes only, for the first five people that will call with a gift for $88, that provides the educational portion of the scholarship. I will give the $22 and make it a one-time gift of 110 for you. For the next five wow. people to call, I personally will do that because I love these kids too. I love the Lord. I want to make sure this need is met. You give 88, I'll give 22. Together we'll partner and we'll make it happen. Next five people, it's only for the next 30 minutes, so you're going to have to get to the phones, 866-822-4883 or online at 1160hope.com. So that time limit, it ends once uh, in touch with Dr. Charles Stanley starts playing. So you better pick up that phone and call right now. And you're actually getting a, a, a better blessing than what others might be getting. 866-822-4883. Or you can give at 1160hope.com. But again, be sure that you're one of the first five people in the next 30 minutes to do so. So that extra $22 will also be given on your behalf thanks to Robert's generosity. For the last couple of days, we've been talking with our friends at Cross International, Robert and Jim, about uh, the children in Haiti and how you can send them to school by providing scholarships. But, you know, what we've not really done is heard from the children themselves. <laughs> Uh, Darren, you might not have uh, understood the words they were singing in Haitian Creole. I had no idea. I, I, that that uh, that's that uh, melody sounded kind of yeah, familiar. Yeah, red and yellow, black and white. They are precious in His sight. Kids wanted to sing that for us because they wanted to show you that hey, now because they're going to Divine Shelter School. They understand that Jesus loves the little children of the world. And by the way, mm. we got a real kick out of that that little guy in the background there. You heard all of a sudden he, instead of singing, he started banging on some metal pipe or something. <laughs> I was going to say the drummer is yeah. really offbeat. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. But <laughs> Folks, that's what happens. When you call a toll-free number and give a gift, you're, you're doing that. You're providing hope and dreams to children in Haiti, you're allowing them to get a Christian education. You're allowing them to have a hot meal every day at lunchtime. All that, all that happens because you gave a gift of $110. You gave a gift of $550. You were a classroom champion and helped 30 kids go to Divine Shelter School with a $3,300 gift. Whatever God is laying on your heart, thank you. Thank you for helping us, helping these kids, really. 866 822 4883. That's the phone number to call. 866 822 4883. You can also give online at 1160hope.com. Good afternoon. I'm Darren Marlar. I've got Robert with Cross International here with me. We're asking you to provide a one year scholarship for a child in Haiti. That one time gift of just $110 that provides a Christian education and lunch for an entire year for a needy child. Now, Robert, you've actually seen these children for yourselves. You visited them. You see where the money goes, and uh, you also see the great need that there is there, don't you? Uh, you bet. We see it all when we go, and, and some of it's kind of heartbreaking. Uh, a lot of it's uh, very hopeful and, and exciting to see. But I'll tell you, before I talk about that, let me tell you something else that's exciting to see. It's exciting hmm. to see people ringing the phones. Stanley from Chicago giving a one-time gift of $110. John from Hampshire giving a one-time gift of $110. Mara Lee from Geneva giving a $110 wow. gift. You guys, thank you for stepping up in thank such you. a big way. Each of those gifts represents one child that's got a full-ride scholarship now for the next year, and that's how easy it is. One of the uh, children we met, he's, he's actually not a child, but he's in fourth grade. And he wanted to take us to his house. He wanted us to meet his auntie. And uh, that's in our country, I, I would say my aunt, but he calls her yeah. his auntie. And uh, his parents both died in the, in the terrible earthquake that took place there several years ago. 
and he lives with his auntie, and he wanted to show us his where he lives. So we walked with him about 20 minutes, and by the way, he's in fourth grade, and by the way, he's 20 years old. He didn't get to wow. sc- go to school till he was 14. I was about to correct you earlier when you said he's not a child, he's in fourth grade. It's like, no, that sounds like a child to me. He's 20. Goodness gracious. And by the way, there's there's pictures on Facebook. I don't know if they're there yet. They should. They, I think they are. Uh, they're going on Facebook. You'll be able to see him standing by his his room. He's holding the curtain open to his little house there, and uh, you'll be able to see some of the kids in the Divine Shelter schools and some of the other families we visited. So please uh, friend us on Facebook. Uh, there's some pictures there for you. But go to the phone, just like Stanley and John and others have done. Uh, uh, and Mary Lee have done 866-822-4883, 866-822-4883. Forty-eight, eighty-three. Our final afternoon. The push is on. We've got a lot of children. We still want to help. We don't want to leave any of them out. Please help us out. 866-822-4883 or online at 1160hope.com. I'm Darren Marlar. I've got Jim here with me from Cross International, and we're asking you to provide scholarships for children in Haiti. Jim, I do have a question for you, though. Mm-hmm. We have so many people uh, you know, on radio, on television, online, they're all asking for for money for all of these great causes, but you're never really sure how that money is being spent. Since I have you here with Cross International, can you can you vouch for them? Can you can you kind of tell us how that money is spent? Well, great question, Darren. And yeah, yeah, I'm happy to uh, Cross International. Really, because we work in kind of a unique way. We don't go over and reinvent the wheel. We work in over 20 nations around the world, but we never go over there and say, we can do it better than you, so move over. Let us build a school. Let us build houses and all this. We come alongside existing ministries that are already doing a great job. In this case, Divine Shelter Christian Schools. They've they've been teaching kids for years. They're doing a great job. We just want to come alongside and make it possible for them to do their job better, to get more kids into school. And because of that efficient way that we do things, 96 cents out of every dollar goes right towards the program services that we're talking about. 96% of every dollar you give goes to helping these kids in Haiti. So, you know, and we don't say that to brag. We just say that God has given us this vision to help kids in third world nations, especially help them to learn about Christ, make sure that they have a meal every day. And God has given us that vision. And to accomplish that in the best way, we come alongside existing ministries. So uh, thank you for for believing in Cross International. Thank you to this great radio ministry here, you know, AM 1160. You guys have helped us many times over the years. And so we thank you for what you're doing in this particular case to make sure these kids in Haiti have something to, to look forward to every day. Here's the number to call for you to be involved. And we urge you to give your best gift. Remember, $88 provides a scholarship to the Christian school. $22 more provides that same child with a hot meal every day. Probably the only meal they get that day. So a one-time kingdom investment of a little over $100, and you change a child's life. 866-822-4883. That's the number to call and be involved today. Thank you for doing that, by the way. 866-822-4883. Or you can click the Cross International banner. I promise you, you'll see it when you go to 1160hope.com. Got Robert here with Cross International. We have spent quite a bit of time talking about the schools and uh, what those, uh, what these scholarships are going towards, Robert. You know, with the yep. shoes and the uniforms, yep. uh, the school supplies, uh, with that extra $22 going towards uh, lunch for them, which is often the only meal that they'll get the entire day, which so that's that, that much more important. But I'm curious. I mean, that's that's inside the school. What happens on the other side of those walls? What, what's happening on the outside of the school? Well, it's a complete different picture. And I'm looking right now on my computer at a picture of a drainage ditch. They have some, some pretty nicely formed drainage ditches along the streets of Haiti. In fact, they're, they're lined with rocks and man-made. I mean, the, they actually are nicer than some of our drainage ditches in the United States. However, they are filled with the worst kind of things you can imagine. I'm seeing old clothes that are in that water. I'm seeing filth, trash, uh, there no doubt human waste. Uh, and what we see when we go up to the schools, because all of the schools are surrounded by either a, a tall block or rock wall, 
uh, and or barbed wire fencing. But what we see outside are little children in those drainage ditches pulling things out that they think they might be able to use. And we have actually seen children finding old plastic water bottles, dipping it down into that water that's in the ditch, and then climbing out of the ditch. And you know what they're going to do with that water. And it makes you sick to your stomach just to look at this ditch without the children in it. But then you go inside the schoolyard and you see these kids in their cute little school uniforms. They're happy. They're healthy. They have a pure water cistern inside the school where they can drink water that is harmless, that's healthy for them. It's a complete different picture. And so we're talking about meeting humanitarian needs right off the bat and then we're also meeting spiritual needs as we teach the Word of God in the schools. That's what your money does. Please go to the phone, 866-822-4883, 866-822-4883, or online at 1160hope.com. Give hope to these little children who, until they get inside these schools, it's pretty hopeless. Yes, we, we say the words, hope for your life, uh, many times throughout the day, but here's your opportunity to really bring that hope. 866-822-4883 or 1160hope.com. we got Jim with Cross International. We've mentioned, well, you've mentioned actually quite often today that Cross International doesn't come in and try to, as you say, rework the wheel. You guys don't do things uh, saying, oh, no, we can do it better. You actually partner with with ministries that are already on the ground, mm-hmm. just helping them to do what they can even better, right? Yeah, we want to be uh, helping and doing God's work in the most efficient way we can. And we've got a, yeah. a lot of ministry partners. Darren, i got to tell you, these people, their sacrifice to, you know, to, for the work of God is, is amazing. I want you to hear from uh, a, a, a lady. Her name is Betty, and I want you to hear the passion in her voice. I'm from Connecticut, and I've lived in Haiti for 19 years. So I know what it's like to be here, and I know what it's like to be there. If you're poor in America, it's tough, but you can find help. There are ways to not die, I think, for the most part, that I've lived through. I was a nurse in a soup kitchen, and I was a nurse in hospitals. And in Haiti, if you're poor and you can't get what you need, there is nothing, and you die. An hour and a half from Miami, children are starving, and it just can't go on. God's watching this, and we have to do something. To whom much is given, much is expected. To whom much is given, much is expected. I love it when she says, if you're poor in America, there are ways to not die. If you're poor in Haiti, food is is pretty scarce. And unfortunately, uh, a lot of children die just from from not eating. That's what's so significant about Divine Shelter Christian Schools. Yep, you're giving them a great academic education and they're learning about Jesus. But it's so important to know that these kids are also getting something to eat every day. After all, they're going to school sometimes just because, well, hey, I want to make sure that there's that I have something to eat. And then because of uh, somebody like you, a partner that comes along and says, well, we want to make sure you have a scholarship so you can learn and get out of that cycle of poverty. Thank you for helping Cross International. Thank you for partnering with Divine Shelter Christian Schools today. We we thank you for your support, and we thank you for doing whatever you can to help one or two or 20 or 30 or 100 kids, whatever God has has blessed you with here in America. To whom much is given, much is expected. Here's the number to call to be involved with your best gift today, 866-822-4883. Again, toll-free number, real friendly person. And uh, you won't be prompted to press one or two. You'll talk to a live person, I promise. Here's the number, 866-822-4883. Or Darren, there's a real beautiful website that people can go to as well if they want to give that way. (laughs) Yes, they can do that at 1160hope.com. Just click on the Cross International banner when you get there. It's very obvious when you get there. That's 1160hope.com. Hey, we've got some more good news. Apparently, we've had a couple more phone calls, more people to thank. We have. I love it. We're in our final afternoon. Again, we're going to be on Mark's show here in just a little bit, you guys. But I want to I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you to people. 
Jackie from Michigan City, Indiana, given a full ride scholarship of $110. Vance from Maricopa, Arizona. I think that's the farthest wow. away we've had. A $110 full ride scholarship. Another anonymous friend, a $110 full ride scholarship. Roy from Chicago, thank you for a whole 110 full ride scholarship. You guys, that's incredible to see the activity this afternoon. And not only am I thankful, I want you to hear from these precious little children who we recorded on our last trip to Haiti who are also thankful for what's been done for them. Thank you for being part of my story. Now I have hope. I like to learn about English. Now I will have a better future. Your gift make a difference. God make my feet um, well. The doctors help me. You are part of my story. Thank you for giving me hope. Thank you for sharing with me. Now I can have a better life. Second Timothy 1 verse 7. God had not given us the spirit of fear, but of love. Thank you for being part of my story. Your gift make a difference. No, I can have a better in life. Those kids are precious. Some of them have their feet are damaged because they haven't had shoes because they've, they've been starving, and ch children who are malnourished have all kinds of health issues. Some of them have had psychological issues because they've watched parents die, and some of them even sleep in the cemeteries at night beside the graves Ooh. of their parents. These are the real facts, and these kids are so thankful to be in a place called Divine Shelter School where they're protected, where they're fed, and it's because you took a moment and gave of yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 866-822-4883. 866-822-4883. Still a lot of kids remaining. Would you be the next to call? 866-822-4883. You can also give at 1160hope.com. The most important thing is that you do it right now.